Virgo, welcome back in. It's Priestess and Medium Rosalind. And if you don't know me yet, I give readings based on the highest guidance, uh, channeled and tarot, to help you move forward in love, success, prosperity, road opening, and detox and banishing negative. You can check out my websites. They're listed below. I make everything in the highest intentions and the highest good for you. Please know there is no judgment here because we've all been through some sticky situations. <laughs> if you do enjoy my content, consider subscribing, liking, sharing, and being part of the Soul Family. If you're returning, thank you. I love you. Let's get into this, Virgo. Virgo, let's see what's going on. Your energy feels a little bit different. I've been doing these readings and your reading may be a little bit different, Virgo. It could be love, money, prosperity. It could be family issues. It could be, you know, just exposing what you need to know and what you need to see right now. So let's get into it for Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? Mother, Father, God, Blessed Holy Spirit, Spirits of the Pure White Light, Benevolent, Helping, Loving Spirits. The pure white light protects me as I move forward to offer guidance and information that Virgo should know at this time. Virgo, 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 Virgo. What should Virgo know right now? Okay, we have we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, Virgo. We have the Supreme in, in reverse here. Hmm. You could be um, very near some Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo. I don't know if you have water signs very close to you. Okay, because we have the King of Cups in the upright. Ten of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups in reverse here. Three of Cups. Mm -hmm. Virgo. <clears throat> well, the first thing I'm hearing from Spirit is that your self-esteem is being affected because you are involved in something that, you know, some of us would say is directly a third party that has influenced your home. It's influenced your love life. It has influenced the ability for you to feel safe and comfortable as if this person... Um, may not leave or abandon you. You may not trust them fully right now. You may feel that the two of you are in the midst of a breakup. This person may have attempted to ghost you or threaten, you know, that I'm going to leave because this person, I feel like I have new feelings. I feel like I have a relationship forming with this person and it's more than just an affair. Um, but you may have clung on you know, you may have said, no, I, I don't want you to leave. We still need to work this out. We have a lot that we have worked for together. We have home together. We have a child together. We have money that we've put together. We have signed on things together where we were stable. Okay. Um, you may feel like energy is going against you. The universe is going against you because of the way this person has acted with you, the way that they have treated you, okay? Because this, this King of Cups here with this Eight of Cups and the Three of Cups, I can just imagine that this person, you may be questioning, were they ever sincere at all? Or why are they gaslighting you? Why are they trying to take advantage of a situation here? Let's see what else is here on the bottom. We have, yeah, the lovers. So this almost feels like a third party reading confirmed, Virgo. Let's see, the lovers, six of pentacles, judgment. Ace of cups is in reverse. Huge energy, magician is in the reverse. Queen of swords is here in the upright. Okay, and the moon is on the bottom. Virgo, I do feel that someone is definitely trying to take advantage of what you have given them or what you have put out so far. I feel like this person has uh, withheld emotions or they have manipulated you so that they can go on and do things that they want to do without feeling guilty. Okay, that's really what I feel. I'm also seeing that 
you have been through this before with this person but because you had so many things together because you had you know gifts together long-term things together because the two of you were public because the two of you may have a child etc you didn't think that it would go this far you didn't think that this person would betray you this way the queen of swords is here because you're angry sometimes and because you know the queen of swords always is looking for a way to make a decision and wondering what to do wondering what to do in the way of you know approaching it sometimes arguing sometimes bitching sometimes you know saying things very sharply very accusatory with the tongue so the queen of swords is here about this third party okay it's lining up perfectly with this third party this third energy the magician in reverse is almost like a manipulator who holds that over your head that they're going to cut off contact communication they're going to ghost you the ace of cups is lining up with the ten of pentacles but the ace of cups is in reverse you know it's like i'm withholding my affection i'm withholding my passion from you i'm withholding my love you've been cut off somehow the moon is here because the secret's being illuminated. Let's get some more cards here. This love that this, okay. I want to explain this to you in a way that I'm actually seeing it and feeling it, Virgo. This love is almost like you need to understand that this person is so chaotically, passionately enmeshed with this other person. They feel like they can't let go. It's too passionate. It's really good. You know, when the passion and excitement is really good, it's almost like they can't behave properly right now. They can't. Healthy choices. Make healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love. Self-care. Being happier. Because Virgo, your guides, your ancestors that love you, they want you to be healthier and happier in your mind, body, and spirit. They may want you to completely raise your standards here. Reaching what you need, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure, and issues, okay? Okay. So sometimes, Virgo, we have to make this leap. We have to cross the water. We have to think differently to clear our mind, to get to get what we deserve. Our soul needs it. The sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, honor, protection, power. That's masculine energy definitely involved here. Seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. There it is. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. That's what's happening here. I really do feel that. On the bottom, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. That's when your heart is involved, your emotions are involved, and you can only think of the way this person has treated you well in the past and the way that they're behaving now, it does not go together. Twin flames, yin, yang, zen, union, duality, complementing each other. This is the thought of how it was. This is why some of you might be in disbelief of how this person has treated you. Do twin flames go through things like this? Yeah, they do. But it's very difficult when, when you have someone who is an actual soulmate or twin flame and they're treating you this way. It's very devastating. Look at this. Soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and a soul contract. Do you feel you have a soul contract with this person? And reverse the roles if you need to, Virgo. If you're the one who is found this other person or this third party thing, then be honest about it. Maybe you're the one who has really been turned out by this third party and you can't really get it together because the passion is too good. I've seen that. I have seen that, Virgo. Wow. <clears throat> Virgo, this is a lot. This is a lot to absorb, but it could be very true for your situation. So Virgo, 
you know, whatever is resonating, you can take with you whenever you see this. Maybe it was meant for you. Reverse the roles if you need to. Also, make your own decisions based on your healthy aspects of your mind, your energy, your spirit, your emotions. And pay attention to your triggers because those are things that get us going. Triggers, accusations, confrontations. They lead to things that's not always good for us, Virgo. So this is your reading. I hope that you have had some sort of guidance, enlightenment, and some of your questions answered, Virgo. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.